Hello, my friend, and welcome to Wisdom Trek. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our five-day-per-week wisdom and legacy-building podcast. This is day 583 of our trek, and today is Philosophy Friday. Every Friday, we'll ponder some of the basic truths and mysteries of life and how they can impact us in creating our living legacy. Currently, we are on an extended multi-week trek as we explore the teachings of some of my virtual mentors, such as Jim Rohn, Zig Ziglar, and Earl Nightingale. The core of the current trek is based primarily on Jim Rohn's book, The Five Major Pieces to the Life Puzzle. I have learned a considerable amount from reading and rereading this book on my own trek of life, and I trust that you'll benefit from it also. Keeping in continuity of Wisdom Trek, I have adapted it to The Five Trails on Life Trek. We are broadcasting from our studios at the Big House in Marietta, Ohio. This has been a pleasant spring week, and the mature maples and oaks are finally budding and their leaves are starting to show. It won't be long before we are in full foliage once again. I am also making progress in cutting up the trees that we had cut down. They were some very large trees, and cutting them into manageable sections is proving to be very physically challenging. The stack along the side of the garage is growing rapidly. I suspect that it will be several more weeks before the cleanup project is complete. We hope to invest in a log splitter this fall, since many of the pieces are too large to carry or to fit into the fireplace. While I enjoy being outside and the physical labor, it certainly creates some sore muscles that I don't use as rigorously on my daily exercise routine. These are the sore spots of life, and although life is far from perfect and we struggle like everyone else, we are focusing on enjoying our daily lifestyle and being content on how life is and not how we wish it to be. We do certainly strive to improve our lifestyle, but choose to be content as we work on those improvements. And as we continue on our extended trek today, we will begin the fifth trail, which is the trail of lifestyle. The final blending of our philosophy, attitude, activities, and results is what creates the final personal quest that we call lifestyle. If you have missed any of the past few Philosophy Friday treks, it would be good to go back and review them to get caught up on our progress so far. So let's break camp and begin the fifth trail on our extended trek as we cover the five trails on life's trek, Lifestyle Part 1. As a reminder, our overall extended trek covers these five trails, philosophy, attitude, activity, results, and now lifestyle. So let me ask you this as we get started. What is lifestyle? Lifestyle is how we choose to live and how we design our lives. It is the sophisticated understanding of the difference between life's trinkets and life's treasures. Many have learned to earn well, but they have not learned to live well. It is though they have decided to wait until they become wealthy before they start practicing sophistication. What they fail to understand is that practice sophistication is as much a cause of wealth as a result of the wealth. Some attribute their poor attitude about life to their low level of income. They maintain that if they ever solve their money problems, they would show us what happiness is really about. Obviously, they have not yet discovered that it is the failure to find happiness in the past that has affected their current income. If they continue this error in judgment, their lack of happiness in the present will determine their future income as well. Until they have discovered that happiness is part of the cause and that wealth is merely an effect, their circumstances are not likely to change. So we need to realize that lifestyle is a reflection of our attitude and our values. We have already examined how you feel and what you deem to be worthwhile is part of the mental process that ultimately determines what you attract into your life. If you are not happy with your current circumstances, you can begin to change them by simply changing how you think and feel. Lifestyle is also a function of that same thinking process. Any day you choose, you have the ability to alter your lifestyle by changing how you feel and making better decisions about what you deem to be valuable. The exciting thing about lifestyle is that you can have it all now. You don't have to wait until you are wealthy or powerful or famous to experience this happiness. You don't have to postpone your appreciation for the finer things of life until you have reached your career goals. You can live a life that is as joyful or rewarding as you might wish, starting right now. For instance, anyone can give money to charity, but the real rewards lie in giving of yourself and your time. Other practical examples are this. For a little more than the price of a movie ticket, anyone can attend a symphony orchestra. The music is just as stirring in the back of the concert hall during an afternoon matinee as it is high up in the private box on opening night. You don't have to own a Rembrandt to appreciate his incredible genius. Given with sincerity, a single, long-stem rose can be more meaningful than a dozen orchids. 
Another really practical one is the price of admission for a fabulous sunset is still always free. You don't have to be rich to live richly. All the happiness and fulfillment that you want can be yours right now by simply changing how you feel and what you think about this trail of life that we call lifestyle. Being rich is a mindset, not a bank account. In fact, even if you have been blessed with material riches and are able to enjoy a lifestyle that is free from economic bondage, that is not our ultimate goal. The Apostle Paul instructed us in 1 Timothy chapter 6, verses 17 and 18 that there are riches which are much more important. And he said, Teach those who are rich in this world not to be proud nor to trust in their money, which is so unreliable. Their trust should be in God, who richly gives us all that we need for our enjoyment. Tell them to use their money to do good. They should be rich in good works and generous to those in need, always being ready to share with others. We are deliberately taking our trek slowly on these five trails on Life's Trek as we begin our hike today on the Trail of Lifestyle. Today we learn what lifestyle is and how lifestyle is more a result of our attitude than our resources. So let me ask you this today. What type of lifestyle do you live? Next Philosophy Friday, we will continue our fifth trail on the trail of lifestyle as we learn that lifestyle is not an amount, but a reflection of who and what we are. So join us next Friday for these additional insights. I know that you'll find these insights both interesting and profitable in living a rich and satisfying life for yourself. But our next trek will be on Monday as we continue our series called The Tools in Gramps' Backpack where we will equip you with the tools needed to impact the lives of others. So encourage your friends and family to join us and then come along with us on Monday for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. If you'd like to listen to any of the past daily treks or read their associated journals, they are available at wisdom-trek.com. You can also subscribe on iTunes or Google Play so that each day's trek is downloaded to you automatically. And thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend, as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and then leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to... Keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you on Monday.